welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at ultra short period exoplanets and what they actually are. So this is a plot of the currently confirmed exoplanets and it's the radius of the planet against the period. Now an ultra short period exoplanet is a planet that has an orbital period of less than one day. So we can see that actually there, there are some planets that fall below that so there are planets that have orbital periods less than one day and these are our ultra short period exoplanets. Now the interesting thing is that they can be put into kind of two groups really. So the top one that I've circled with a blue circle, these are basically your hot gas giants. So these are large planets, they've got very large radiuses, we're talking kind of Jupiter sort of size, Neptune size, and they have orbital period of less than one day. So these are, they're hot because they're close to their star and they're very large. And then you have a group down at the bottom, which are more terrestrial types. So these are kind of Earth size, Earth sort of composition. So they're terrestrial kind of in their composition. And most of them that have been discovered are that sort of size composition. And there are only a handful really of these gas giants. So what's happening there? Well, one idea is that these are gas giants that have migrated inwards. And because they're so close to their star, they're losing their atmospheres. Their atmospheres are almost being evaporated away and then they leave their rocky cores behind. So when we're looking at these stars, we're basically just seeing their cores left over, which is what's making them look like they're terrestrial planets, but they've actually started out as gas giants. So it's expected that this might occur over, over a very short period of time. So in order for us to see those gas giants, we've got to catch them quite early on. So that's one idea really of what might be causing this discrepancy. Now, they also have tidal locking. So because they're so close to their star, they undergo tidal locking, which causes one side of the planet to always face towards the star. So they will rotate once, but the same period of time that they do one orbital period. So it takes the same time to rotate once as it does to go all the way around. So therefore, one side always faces the star. Again, same with their orbits. They may have migrated in and, and had an elliptical orbit. But because they're so close, the tides throughout one orbit are different. So you get stronger tides when it's closer to the star and weaker when it's further away. And over time, that actually will circularize the orbit. So the orbit becomes more circular. So close in planets, like ultra short period planets, are likely to have very circular orbits. Now that circularization is going to cause a heating of the planet as well. Because as the tides are different throughout one orbit, the planet gets stretched and deformed and you then get a, a tidal heating from that as well. So the orbital energy is lost to heat within the actual planet. So the, the end result is that that orbit becomes more circular. And another interesting feature is that these ultra short period exoplanets are typically more inclined than the other planets in their system. So if we were to discover multiple planets around the same star, the ultra short period exoplanet would be inclined more than the other planets. And it's not fully understood why that might be the case, but a possible scenario is that something's excited their inclination, something's caused their inclination to increase compared to the other exoplanets. And we're not entirely sure what that might be. And also because they're so hot, they're so close to their stars, they're likely to be lava worlds as well. Now, this is obviously only true for the terrestrial planets. The gas giants are going to have a very gaseous, large atmosphere. But the rocky planets are likely to be lava worlds because they're just going to be so hot being so close to their star. And also having one face always facing towards the star, it's going to be day all the time. So they're going to be very hot on that face facing towards the star. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.